Turn around, see if anyone comes in and says hello. Now, I don't know if we can turn. We're trying a new little setup here. So a new gimbal for live streaming. Try and keep a, a steady video. How are you all? How is everybody? Am I going to be able to turn the camera? No, I'm going to have to do it old school, old school. and just turn it that way around. Look at the gum trees. There you go. See if there's any kookaburras out there. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Now, how does this thing work? <laughs> that is not doing it. Just working on it. We're working on. The, the stability. We've got a slightly new setup for live streaming. And one of the things we might have problems with today is wind. I haven't got a microphone that will attach at the moment. So. Hello, Danny Park. Hey, Danny. This is working. Somebody can see us. Can you hear us? Okay, Danny. And look, let me know if the wind is an issue. It's right now it's still, so you'll, you'll hear nothing. But um, yeah, I haven't got a microphone. And also tell me if it feels fairly stable because we are walking on uneven ground. We're trying to head down to the coast, to the coastal path, but uh, it's a fair old way. So a lot will depend on what sort of internet connection we, we're, we're able to maintain. And uh, if the picture's good enough, if, if anyone comes in to chat, we're not sharing this out on Facebook and Twitter and the like, so not that I use Twitter. <laughs> But um, yeah, yes, we're. Clear as a bell. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> you would hope so for the amount of work we've put into trying to make this thing work. But uh, you never know. Look at that. Dogs, for dog's sake, pick up the poo. Protect your dog's access. So the Bill ABC TV. Hi, Steve. I am from Sydney. Hey, fella. Hey. How is Sydney? I'm in Sydney. <laughs> Yeah. The weather, I should think, is pretty nice. We we got beautiful weather today, but we haven't done a lot of exercise. As you know, it's been pretty much locked up in Melbourne for a while now, so people weren't allowed to go out really get proper exercise. But now they've released a few little freedoms to us. They're giving us a few crumbs of freedom. People, everybody's out. The Bill ABC says good, mate. So obviously Sydney's good. Yeah. Weather's good. Weather's going to be nice in Sydney Life's today. good. <laughs> so forgive me if I'm puff and pant. Luckily, I haven't got a little microphone on today. <laughs> if I'm puffing and panting because I feel out of shape. Let's turn the camera around. See give you some nice are. bush. So yes, the weather is nice. So that's good. So Australia's having good weather. Going into spring, nearly into summer. Yeah. It's been a bit up and down here in Melbourne, hasn't it, weather-wise? It is. Now, this is an area called the Briars, up on the Mornington Peninsula. And it's a beautiful little... Oh, I think people tend to think of it as a dog walk area. It's, uh, it's commonly used for people to come out and just walk their dogs. But it's not a long way from the coastline. And if I can remember the way, because it's a long time since we've been out this way, if I can remember the way, I hopefully we can get down to the coast. We keep coming across paths. Which way do we go? Which way? Yes, and I see fences that I don't remember <laughs> being there. So we will, we will see. So who else is in? Say hello if you're watching. Let's extend this out a little bit further. We've had a few people ask us to do live streams, so we thought, well. Hello, John. G'day, John. We thought we might as well get out, since we're allowed to. Where are and you, John? Is it another one from Australia or somewhere else? Which John is it? Just John. Just John. <laughs> Hello, just John. No, just John. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gathered that. Okay, we've got fence. Okay, what does it say? Electric fence? Is that saying electric fence? Electric hey, fence. does that look electric or what? <laughs> Let me just turn this thing, is this? Oh, it's not that electric, and look at the bird. Oh, Michelle, the birds... Oh, don't tell <laughs> I her. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> birds can sit on electric fences, they're not grounded, sorry. So electric fence, that looks pretty... Um... Danny Clark says, watch out for snakes. Yeah, there'll be snakes all over, Danny, they don't worry us. It's all right, we make lots of noise. Yeah. And the bill says, I'm happy you're back Hello. in Australia. Hello, come up here. 
<laughs> come back up here. Yeah, we're happy to be back in Australia. It would be nice if it was a little freer and people were back to normal, but it'll come over time. In the meantime, we're just gonna get out and make the most of it. We've got lots planned. Problem is, none of it can happen at the moment. Show us an old VidCon t-shirt, isn't it? It is. That's the original Melbourne VidCon, back when they were able to have VidCons in Melbourne. So I don't know if anybody went to the, the very first VidCon, which we actually traveled halfway around the world to come back to Melbourne to be on that uh, event. And we were staying at the time in St Kilda. St. Kilda. We went and saw the little penguins, didn't we? We went and saw, there's a video there, seeing penguins on St Kilda Beach. And... Um, well, again, we had issues with sound. We had a <laughs> lot of issues with wind on St Kilda Beach. But... Um, we have improved since then, but not so sure on this one whether it's going to be good or is the wind... Yeah, because you're getting, sound, you're getting sound straight out of the phone today. So it might be a little bit uh, iffy butty. So the bill says, Steve, where would you prefer to live, Melbourne or Sydney? Oh, <laughs> controversial question. Well, clearly that's going to be Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, my family all love Melbourne. I love Melbourne for, for a number of reasons, mainly because my family are here. Um, but we have connections with Sydney and up in Queensland as well. We live for a time up on the Sunshine Coast, which is one of my favorite areas um, of Australia. And, and Michelle's. But Sydney's nice, they're, they're very different. If anyone's not been to Sydney or Melbourne, I always say to people, come to Melbourne initially because I think it's more cosmopolitan and the suburbs are kind mm. of more funky. More multi multicultural, I think, isn't it? Probably not, not anymore, <laughs> but um, Sydney's a beautiful city centre. It really is one of the, the, the best city centres in Australia. Um, Melbourne's quite a small CBD. It's, there's not a lot going on. Uh, I'm going to get in trouble now, but there isn't. We've got the suburbs, all the great suburbs, and, and you've got suburbs in... They're easy to get around to, aren't they? Yeah, I think getting around Melbourne, it feels smaller, like a small city, more compact easy to get round on the um on the tram i don't know i get this the wrong way every time but i'll turn it it's gone the right way this time so hey, they're both petri. good petri Zento, hello. hey petri they're both good if i was only going to one city i'd probably go to melbourne because i just think culturally and food wise it's more interesting um but what do i know uh, we stayed up in sydney um a few years back over Christmas and we had a great time. Um, some of the suburbs, the outer suburbs are along the coast are very nice. Um, but then we, you know, you, you've just mentioned Sydney and Melbourne there. We love Adelaide. Adelaide's a lovely little city town. It's this, yes. The centre is beautiful. And then we went to Perth and we actually like Perth as, as well, didn't we? Yeah, you got Perth yeah. and there's another one. Ca -ca 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 Canberra. Ca oh, you went too quick. <laughs> I was going to spend at least a half an hour trying to pick that one out of my bonnet. <laughs> and that one's a good one too, because we've been there. Canberra's all right. I'm not going to say it's a good one. It's, uh, it's interesting. Um, you should say what's special about Canberra. Don't, don't start getting me into controversy before I even started the video. I can't get that off my wrist. So this weird thing, I've got this, I, I can't show it to you. It's like a wristband that goes around this gimbal. And one day if I, if I ever have a video going where I haven't got it on, I'll show you what I mean, but it's the stupidest designed wristband because it's impossible to undo with one hand. So the bill says I live on the North Shore of Sydney. Oh, North Shore's nice. Yeah. The North Shore's are good. It's beautiful. It's a little bit um, hard to get to sometimes. We spent time in um, Darling Harbour, Lane Cove, um, on the South Shores. Never really spent a lot of time on the North Shores, but I love Sydney Centre. I just think it's great. The old fish market, Darling Harbour, Chinatown. There's a lot there. It's a better city centre by a long stroke to Melbourne centre. Um, 
because it's it's better walking it's there's more to see um you know by the time you've done the laneways elizabeth street bork street burke street bork street um you you pretty much cover the whole of the city center in melbourne um, but where melbourne shines is its suburbs around uh, when you come out of the city centre. There's so many great suburbs with different cultural sort of feelings to them, whether or not you get a lot of Italian food, um, African foods, uh, Chinese food, the areas where there's so, there's so many really good places you can get to on the trams here in Melbourne. So, so the bill says near Gordon I live, which is a 10 minute bus way bus away from Gordon. I love where I am, Steve. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice up there. But to, to, to be honest, what do you think then? Let me know in your comments. What do you think of the Sunshine Coast? And I'm not going to talk about um, uh, the Gold Coast because it's it's not one of my favourite areas, but Sunshine Coast, Queensland. Because, you know, let's talk about Brisbane briefly. I mean, Brisbane's a beautiful city also, but it doesn't hold a light to um sydney center really there's not there's not this, the same feeling sydney's definitely got one of the better city centers um perth also though perth city center is pretty cool uh i'm going to swap hands and and then i've got this weird thing that might follow me uh actually if i do that no that's not going to work see i've got this this follow me thing but it won't work on the on the youtube app I would love to travel to Noosa, Steve. Noosa is beautiful. If you haven't been there before, we lived there for a number of years, and it's one of my favourite uh, little towns up on the Sunshine Coast. Um, yeah, Noosa, Tawantan. It's it's a good place. If you ever come to Australia and you don't go up there, you're missing out. Wonderful. Have a little look where we're heading to now. Let me just see if I can turn this so you can see. So where we are. Danny Clark says, not for me, I like cooler weather, I want to move to Tasmania. Ta well, Tassie is a place we haven't yet been. So, let me lock this and see if it works. Nope, I'm <laughs> going to have to guide you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, so oh. <laughs> dearie me, I'm just going to yank the thing round, otherwise you'll be... Tasmania is one of the, uh, it's probably the only state in Australia we haven't been to yet and it's somewhere we've been planning to go for a long time. Um, so now we're, we're on the boardwalk, which will head us down. It's a little, little billabong brook going down through here. It's very pretty. Um, can you hear that bird up there? Up there somewhere. Up in the top of that tree. It's probably just, uh, from the sound of it, probably just a local crow. Saw a beautiful uh, kookaburra the other day, didn't you? Yeah, have, have a look. Put it up on Instagram, Facebook, and all of that lava. Anyone recognise that bird sound? And it's not a kookaburra. It's a so, very distinct sound. Petri says, I love the trail you're on, and it's so pretty outside. It is Petri, and we are going into summertime. Danny says it, it's stunning, worth taking the car on the boat and explore. That's obviously Tasmania he's talking about. Absolutely, and we are we are planning to go there. But when when um, it, little things keep happening, to show the snake. Did you? Yeah. Oh, it's because we were making lots of noise. It went the other way. I missed it. So yes, we um, we plan on on going over there, but. Watch this space. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, come back up. So the bill says, I love spring and summer. It's the best. The way I can do this, Michelle, I think, is to physically force the thing to turn. To turn. It's probably yeah, quicker. Okay. There we go. It's off again. It's more because on the, on the YouTube app, and uh, oh, yeah, hey, uh, we've got a, a little school group coming through. Waiting for us. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Good day. Hey. Oh, it's a big crowd. It is, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Nice and sunny today, hey? Last lot. Oh, we're at the end. No. <laughs> you can if you like. <laughs> oh, your photo bomb. Teacher's saying. Now. Oh, now. What? I'm hating this. <laughs> this gimbal, I'm hating it. It's it's literally doing whatever it wants to do unless. Uh, well, unless you're doing the act, I suppose. Go back to old school. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll just put it on the old uh, Joby pod next time. I can point it where I want to point it. It's got a mind of its own. We're just trying things out today. See how they are. This um, is an Osmo gimbal. And if you use it with the Osmo app and the camera built into the phone, you can kind of make it work properly. But when it's using the, I can see now when it's doing YouTube live, it ignores the fact that the camera is running. So it's basically just, it, it, it assumes there is no camera on and it's just doing its own thing. <laughs> so uh, it's hopefully nice and steady, but at the same time, I've got to run this little joystick, which we haven't yet worked out. I want to reverse it because when I push it, one way it goes the way I don't expect it to go. Ah, there you go. See what I mean? I think that's something to do with me though, Michelle. I think whenever I've had a joystick or uh, anything computerized, the, one of the first things I've always had to do is, is reverse the pitch and your on it because um, it never seems to work for me. My brain is obviously wired the other way. It's a hand bow said, let's go. And Petri says, I only know what the kookaburra sounds like. Well, That's we great. might hear a kookaburra. Look at this old tree here. She's been hit and got some, what looks to be some sort of, might've had a parasitic tree in the center of it. And then the gum tree itself is, is, is dying. Uh, this limb here has, has dropped off. And that center section there would be all puffy and soft, probably full of termites, maybe. Pretty much the same with this fella over here as well. He's got uh, a lot of damage to the limbs. Yeah, this one coming down to the bottom. Let's see if the camera will turn around. It's kind of done what I expected it to do, a little slower than I thought. So who's in? Is, have we had any new people say hello, Michelle? Petri was in. Petri's in, the Bill's in, Danny's in, Hanbao's in. Is it worth sharing it out on Facebook? If anyone else wants to share it out on Facebook, yeah. be happy for you to do so. It's not so easy when we're walking. <laughs> we're walking along. It's lovely out here, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Look, the sun is, the sun is blue. Let me see if I can the sky is blue, turn that up. The sky is blue. Look at that. The sun is not blue. There's something up there <laughs> in that sky, but I can't see it. Beautiful. I hope everybody else is getting this. I'm doing a lot of whirring, but that might just be because where we are, I'm getting to the signal here. It might be. I can hear traffic. So we're getting to the coastal road. Cool. Might be able to see the sea soon. Do you prefer, people, to have the camera just facing forward so you can see where we're walking? Actually, I'm going to do that for a little while. I'm going to face it forward. You can let me know if you'd rather see a, my mug, but I think I'm going to turn this so you can see the pathway. I can hear cars up ahead. And actually, then you all get a better feeling of what we're seeing. So we're coming back to boardwalks here, which means we're crossing over water and bog and marsh. It's beautiful under here. You can hear fish or something moving, maybe a duck. Some, something's moving down there. I don't know if you'll get any comments come up. I've lost my comments completely. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty. 
can see the, the weed that's sort of flowing in the direction of the, the water. All the paper barks. And then around, if the connection, I was gonna say if the connection disconnects, let me know, but you won't be able to. Uh, we're really out in the <laughs> middle of nowhere, so there's, I'm hoping oh, that- we get better once we get to the road. We've got a new, sim plan that gives me 50 gigs of data um, which is good i'm hoping we can do a few more live streams it's taking me nearly three weeks to get it set up though this is nice so we've got um boardwalks above a little stream let me have a look if anyone's in there, Michelle, if anyone's commenting. Are you back online? No, no, well, Say there. something if anyone's there. Just say hello. Just type the word hello. Let me know that you've got a connection. I think it's growing and you're back there, so. Okay. Well, Michelle's lost connection, so you can just say hello to me. Hi. Is that, that's... Oh, uh, the storm stream's still working. That's good. Beautiful. I won't go on about it then. No. Michelle will get a connection. <laughs> I will once we get out of these. I hear cars up, up ahead, I hear a highway, there's some faster running water there, look, it's picking up speed. It's getting down towards the sea. Oh, traffic's getting louder. For dog's sake, pick up your poo. So we're going, there's the road. That's the coastal road, I think, above us here. And if we wanted to, we could, we could go up that little pathway, but I think that'll take us up onto the main road. We're gonna go under the, under the highway. Beautiful. There's a usual, selection of graffiti on the walls. G'day. There's that, that thing that's going on everywhere in the world where nobody wants to talk to anyone, engage with them. It's, it's kind of sad. Frustrating, annoying, but it's happening. There's nothing we can do about it. Nobody wants to say hello. It's a little bit like when we walk John O'Groats to Land's End. We're getting that vibe. Anyway, we won't go on about that. You managed to get reconnected, Michelle. Do you want to try again here? Turn that round and get the pathway. So it's changed a little bit. We're off the boardwalks now. We're on sandy gravel. This is a leash free area or 50 meters up here is a leash free area. So should we go that way or that way? The Nepean's back there. The Nepean's the name of the main road. We've just um, crossed under. So we're with different providers. So it's probably that's you want a better one out here, maybe? I hope so, because this is the one we rely on. It is. I think we'd have been pushed off by now on my one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who are you with? I'm with um, Boost. Boost, which is meant to be on the Telstra network. Ah, so, so. technically I'm meant to be on a better one. <laughs> oh, look, here we are. So this is a dog walking, a leash free area where they say you can take your dogs and take them off the, off the leash. It's remarkably quiet. I expected to see a lot more people down here today. So Petri says that bridge reminds me of a park that I visited when I grew up. Wow. Which... Rastaram says hi. Hey Rastaram, how are you? So I've got comments back. <laughs> Michelle's back online. Let's do a little twirl, see if the gimbal works. You know, it may be just a case of getting used to this gimbal. So I'll stick with it for a, a little while. 
I keep thinking that I can kind of lift the arm up and show you the gimbal, but <laughs> if I if I do that, you just see the lovely blue sky. You'll get. Uh, are you enjoying the uh, European series that's going up? We're trying to do at least two or three of those a week, and uh, we're currently in Austria going down to the south of, well, we've just left Austria. And I think the next one is going to be a chocolate town, isn't it? Is that, Ooh, or is that yes. already, yes. No, that's, already that's up? That's the next one. Okay, so this Friday, we hit this chocolate festival. Um, all by chance. All by chance. <laughs> well, we, we headed towards it. So you're gonna to get to see a very famous, I'm gonna go back in, shall we go back in? Oh uh, yeah, I see Wait. Bobby Lou's restroom, it says freedom is precious. Freedom is precious, freedom is, is also something we should just expect, not something that we should uh, we should have to ask for. Um, but anyway, it is it is a weird. Back on the boardwalks. And Sarah Potty says hello from Ohio. Good to see you both. Sarah, in Australia. hey, how are you? This is the Jeff K Bridge. <laughs> well done, Jeff. Get it on you, mate. Danny says they are great. I think that's referring to your live streams walking about. Okay, they're good. Oh, no, I think the European. Ah, the European yes, I was just Sorry. asking about. Thank you, Danny. Like <laughs> One of us is on the ball. One of us is. Ooh. This is nice. I'm not sure if we're going to get to the the yeah. coast at this rate because it feels to me can't sell us can't sell us can't sell the salt air they would do if they could <laughs> they would do if they could I can't smell the salt air um, so I just got to decide whether we head that way my your GPS in your head my senses tell me to go that way Thank so. You. Let's just turn this fella back round to us. Somebody sounds like they're using a impact driver or something over here I can hear. Is it or is it just someone going over a bridge? Do you reckon? Those... Okay, be a small bridge. Yeah, true. <laughs> you just get a slurpee. We're back where I've got no, no connection again. Oh, you can just clip that on for me. Oh, there you go. Thank you. So there's a noise up here. Oh, fence. I think <laughs> we may not get to the coast today if this carries on, are they? That Is that way. little road going through? Nope. nope. Lost in our own state. <laughs> in our own, in our own backyard. backyard. Lost already. How long it took us three months to walk from John O'Groats to Land's End because we spent most of the time lost. We did, we did very well. We did well. We did well. We're actually wearing the same shoes that we used for walking the John O'Groats. Nope, we've. The danger, gunfire. gunfire. So it is gunfire. Well, it sounded a little gunfire, didn't it? But. It did. uh, I don't know. Let's have a little look. So you can see, CCTV, danger gunfire. Unauthorized, prohibited. I never knew there was a shooting range down there. Perhaps we should uh, move on, Michelle. <laughs> we'll go this way, shall we? <laughs> we, we? I know, it's a bit wet. <sighs> well, we have to hope they've got the good sense not to shoot towards the road. Gunfire. Not something that you want to hear when you're walking in the woods, really, is it? <laughs> Mind you, if you see it, the odd shotgun going off. I suppose they are in a con contained space. They are, but that's quite close. The sound of that's really, the actual shooting of that is quite close. So Sarah says, follow your senses and take us to the beach. <laughs> I just did, Sarah, and took you to a firing range. Um, Danny says, gotta go, enjoy your day. Cheers, Danny. Uh, Petri says, I thought you meant a literally a, literally a Slurpee from 7-Eleven, lol. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Water. 
and uh, the bill says the, the live stream is very clear picture. Well, that's wow, good that's good because I'm not getting a lot. <laughs> we need to find a service. It's harder than you might think and very expensive in Australia to get anything half decent. Um, and there are some areas where we come back around here. Uh, some areas where you don't get great reception because it's such a big country and sparsely populated that we're still not really getting full full coverage even though we're not far from a fairly big residential area and we're getting a half decent picture i think so that's all good and technically i should uh, being on this server should get a better michelle should here, have because i'm on the national we we come back around here <laughs> back around this way Go over here michelle's on the national helstra service um but I've got nothing. <laughs> Whereas I'm on the Optus network. I shouldn't say it really. It tends to work better out here, that one. It's Maybe. So, on. so, we're almost back to where we were when we went the wrong way, or have we gone past that? No, nope, I think we're almost back to where we were when you said... No, we're past, we've gone further. Because there wasn't a no, there wasn't. side road, was there? No. I would love to get you to the... Um, to the coastline. What's that little stairway? Stairway to heaven. <laughs> you'll see on these um, trees in Australia, you'll see a lot of this. And they've wrapped them in like a PVC tube. And that's basically to stop animals getting up these trees because they're they've got nesting boxes just above them you see there's one there as well behind you another nesting box I mean, yeah. okay another bats. another nest are they bats for bats yeah it's got a bat on it now, okay so. so that's a bat nesting box another one across the road. and they want to stop the possums from getting up the tree and eating the or killing the the bats so they wrap these plastic tubes around and of course the possums can't get up there then and uh, they have to stop them pretty much from going up every limb even this one back in here otherwise they just jump over so that's why you see, you'll see that sometimes it's there <coughs> to stop certain animals from destroying trees and sometimes it's there to protect um, wildlife in that instance they're actually encouraging bats and they put up roosting nests. I can't see how bats would, would be in. Are you sure that's bats, Michelle? Well, why would, bat why would bats be in a nesting box? I don't know. Let's have a little look at this um, map here, see if this helps us understand okay. where we are. So, we. Where are we? Are we we are here. So, we. Can, can we go? Ah, we'll carry along this road and we'll eventually get to the coast. So, well, there's two roads. Are we on this small lane? We're on the bro lane? I think we're on the... So down down this way, do you think? Uh, I would say yes. yes. Is there a bridge over there, though? Because this is the bridge, look. So you, what you could do, sorry, but this is the brown one where there's the bridge there. If we're carrying along this road, that's the dotted. This is the little bridge here, which is that back and yeah. then this is the dotted road that we're going to go along is that all right yeah that's okay okay and we should get to a bridge okay we'll go this way it looks it looks and a bit sweet. sweeter oh <laughs> oh what's going on there we go. sorry I'm getting you all dizzy there youtube didn't like that i got a thing coming up saying you've turned your your phone uh into portrait mode <laughs> you're very naughty put it back otherwise we'll slap your wrists Hey. That's because what I'm doing is actually grabbing the phone and correcting, manually correcting the, the gimbal rather than trying to do it with the little joypad down here. Chef Mooney says, welcome back, guys. Dave, how are you, mate? Dave's not far from us. Uh, we're up in um, the Briars up in Mornington towards Mount Martha, Dave. So we're not a long way from you. In your neck of the woods. And uh, thank you. It's been a long, long, long haul trying to get home. Two years. Two years and a lot of money spent to get back to where we started from <laughs> and back to lockdown. Although technically now 
we're out of lockdown. Nearly. Well, yeah. Uh, sort of. Sort of. With about forty percent of our liberty still remaining to return, but we're all good. And it's such a beautiful day today. Michelle and I thought we'd come out. And those of you that don't know Dave Mooney, Chef Mooney, check out his channel. He's got some great, he's a very good chef and got some fantastic recipes on there. So do check him out. And later on today, I'll ask Michelle to put a link down to Dave's channel. I'll try and remember. <laughs> we haven't spoken for a long time, Dave. I haven't spoken to Steve. And Steve's cooking for a long time either. But you know, the world's been a bit of an odd, an odd one. We up, down. So down is up. So if I press down on the gimbal joystick, the camera goes up. That's where I don't understand gimbals. Well, I, would do it. I would say if you press down, it should go down. Yeah, if I press down, get into the shade, I press down on the thing, it goes up. If I press up, it goes down. Very odd. And then if I press on the left side of the gimbal, it turns right. That's and if so I press on the right side of the gimbal, it turns left. Doesn't make sense to me. There must be a setting to change that. Yeah. For people like me. <laughs> people like me. But the problem is I've had to do that my entire life and I wonder either I am unusual in the way I, and that's more likely the case. Quick slurpy. <laughs> oh, it's dry out here today. See if I can clip that back on my my shorts. Back a bit. There you go. I'm on. <laughs> I'm on all by myself like a proper holster wearing <laughs> hiker. <laughs> and we are trying to get down. We've just crossed under. We've under past the Nepean Highway, which is the coastal road, the big main coastal road that runs along the Mornington Peninsula. And we're trying to get down and see a little bit of coastline and show you the beautiful, beautiful coastline up here in Mornington, if we can. I'm turning you back so you can see, see where, we're going. where we're going. So the pathway has opened up wider. I think we'll end up getting to some housing in an area called Mount Martha, um, or close to Mount Martha. Look at that little fella, oh, he's like a little wren. Oh, look, beautiful. Can you see that, that guy? Let me see if I can zoom on this camera, I can. Oh, he's gone. He's over there now, oh, he is up top there. Okay, let me turn it again. Let's see, I can pick out where he is. Is he in there, is he in the screen? Oh, in there. Uh, he just floats, he knows you're coming. There he is. There he is. How pretty is that? A little blue. Can I see blue? Yeah, he's like a little now. wren. I'm not he's... sure what wren that is. Is that a... It's camera show. So Chef Marini says it's been a long time for everyone. Good to see you both. Got to do the school pickup now. Yeah, it's back at school now. We just passed a, a little school crew of kids out on a nature walk. And that is so nice to see. So nice to see. Kids out and about again. What? Hey you. Come back over here. Is it left or right? There you yes, go. It. Hello. Hello there. And down or up? Up or down? So John says, I've enjoyed the walk, Stephen Michelle. Glad you're both doing well. Good night from Alabama. Good night, John. You must be getting eight places. Sorry, I didn't get. Places. Sorry, I didn't get you to it to the coast. There's a little spider on my uh, arm. I must be getting somewhere now. I've got reception. Not that interesting out here for a lot of you, maybe. Is it? Um, is it nice to be out on these? I know I, I was taught. I think Ben messaged me the other day and said he likes to see the countryside. Morris says hi. Ah, that looks zoomed in. That's so that stayed zoomed in. Mm. Morris, how are you? How are you, mate? Always good to see you. So that's another change. When I normally zoom and go from reverse to front camera, it usually goes back to the same ah. wide view, but not on this camera. 
on this gimbal, it's doing it the other way around. It's 300 meters to something. <laughs> you know what'll happen is we'll end up getting red from the sun today because we didn't expect it to be quite so, so strong. But that's all good, get a bit of colour. Because two days ago, the high, it was a high of 14. High of 14 degrees Celsius. Somebody maybe pop that up in Fahrenheit for me. We'll do the maths. Anyway, that was a high of 14. And today, I reckon we're probably up in the mid 20s. I reckon. So Morris says, great, thanks, Steve. Breda says, where are you walking today? We're walking down to Mount Martha Beach. Um, or at least we're walking down, we're coming up to a residential area now. It'll be quite interesting to see some houses. And Petri says, I enjoy Oh, look these ahead of me, there's sorry. a rabbit across the road. Petri says, I enjoy these nice walks. It's a virtual reality video game, except the dialogue doesn't repeat. <laughs> Petri says, yes. it's a virtual reality <laughs> video game where the dialogue doesn't repeat. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Petri, I'm teasing or repeating. Oh, now we're hitting wind. Yeah, is this going to affect it? 14 degrees C is 57. 57 degrees. Says Raiders, 57.2 says Sarah Potty. 57.2. Oh, we're coming to a bit of a housing. Okay, so here we are. So, um, it's a oh, bit of a house. A, it says nature walk. So if we go over the bridge, we stay on the nature walk, or we can go up Augusta Street up to the Esplanade. So where does the bridge take us to eventually? The bridge goes over here and then round, but then all the way down to here. Probably we can go up Augusta. Shall we go up Augusta? Let's go, let's stay off, let's stay off the boardwalk and go up this little residential area. And Give you some. Go up Augusta and then into Alice Street, maybe. Into Alice Springs. Alice Street. Alice Street, okay. Petri says no worries and she's laughing at you. So it's Petri says no worries and she's laughing at you. You're going to get it all the time now, Petri. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to get it all the time now, Petri. She's sorry. I shouldn't have read it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, so look, we're going to we're going to stay on this little unmade road and head. If we'd have gone the other way, I think it would have taken us into the centre of Mount Martha, but I think it this way would, get us to the This will get us there okay. quicker. And okay. just in case, you know, time allows or batteries run out or anything odd happens, I would rather, mind you, it's a hill. this looks a little bit uh, hill. bleak. <laughs> <laughs> and this, re this reminds me of... Um, oh, and there's a truck. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of uh, the, the John O'Groats walk where you sort of just come along and say, OK, the bikes miles of nothing interesting now those bikes i don't think people will be able to see them particularly now this is something particular to australia jim's mowing or and new zealand oh why is it not zooming so that's jim's jim's mowing and we'll talk about that in a minute but over here this house have got a load of bikes just hung up on the underside of their house. Just zoom back so you can see me. Jim's Mowing is a franchise, and actually not just a franchise of mowing, but Jim's Plumbing, Jim's Electrics, Jim's Computers, Jim's Housework, Jim's Tree Surgeons. It's a very successful uh, franchise here in Australia and New Zealand. I don't know if you have it in any other countries in the world, but um, yeah, it's everywhere. So when you see a Jim's mowing, don't say hello, Jim, because <laughs> the chance is the guy that's actually running this, the business is called Jim, a slim to nothing. There was a Jim back in the day, a clever man. Yes. Who, uh, the original guy was Jim. Who came up with the franchise idea. But I don't think Jim ever had a mowing business. So the no, I, I, I don't even know what Jim did originally because there's so many Jim's gardening and Jim's lawn mowing, Jim's aerials for people who want to have their aerials done on their roof. Um, 
So I'm sure Jim is sat on a nice yacht somewhere out in the Caribbean, oh, maybe yeah. up on the Sunshine Coast. Uh, they're walking fast up this hill, 40 k's. 40 k's, okay. Let's turn the camera around again. So the only thing coming the way we've decided to come is we're a bit exposed. Michelle's got her um, Akubra hat on. <laughs> decided to wear my hat and not take my sunnies and you just decided to take my sunnies. Which I'm probably going to regret when I get a, a red forehead. I could share my hat but he's got a big head. Well your hat won't go on my head. Not to worry the things we do to get you guys out and about. <laughs> and us out and about we need to be out and about. There's the um Aggie panthers. Aggie panthers coming up there. Very common in Australia. Oh, in a hill. <laughs> is it just me or is Aggie panther a horrible plant name? Is that just me, isn't it? Oh, Raiders is being controversial. Isn't Jim an avid anti-vaxxer who lives in the Dandenongs? No such thing as anti-vax. Exactly People just want pro-choice. Pro-choice. If he does, then we were up there a couple of days ago. I would have swung by and said hello. We would have done. But I don't know. And Raider says Aggie Panthers are weeds. Ah. Oh, Pretty weeds. They're not classed as weeds, I don't think, here. Um, there's a house being built, so that's not a gun range now. That's a nail gun. He lives in Seville. Seville. Seville? Seville in the Dandenongs or? <laughs> in Spain. <laughs> okay. It is a bit of a hill, but that's why we're puffing. <laughs> That and we're unfit again. <laughs> but, um. Yarra Ranges. Is there a Seville in the Yarra Ranges? Honestly. And Petri says, I thought you found another gun range. I thought so too, Petri. But no, it's the old. Uh, Nail gun. Nail gun. Get back round oh, here, will you? I think over the brow of this hill we might see the sea, I reckon. Let's turn the camera. You can see why we're puffing. Okay, his car coming behind us. Wouldn't it surprise me if it's old Jim. It oh no, it'd be the delivery. No, I think it might be Jim. No, delivery. No, it's just one of the locals. Kicking the dust up. Hey, look, there's a wigwam. Actually a wigwam. Oh, thanks for slowing down. Not even a tiny amount. You can always tell the ones that are full of themselves. The raider said, I just had 300 meters of Aggie Panthers removed in Donvale, too many snakes. Aggies are everywhere in, uh, in Melbourne. I can't remember seeing Aggie Panthers up, up north. I can't remember. No. The know. flora changes a lot the further north you go into Australia. But uh, definitely down here, you're never more than a few hundred yards from an Aggie Panther. So in that respect, they are a weed. I mean, they grow so easily, so yes. They... But people plant them. And the Australians like them. I'm just not a big. I'm not a big fan of the name. Yeah, they're pretty bad. So there's a little housing street. More, sea Spray Homes. I don't know what happened to Alice. Maud Street. <laughs> Augusta Street. Anybody want to Google where we are? We're on the corner of Maud and Augusta. Uh, out in well, close to Mount Martha. And this is being brought to you, brought to you, courtesy 
with my right arm holding you up on a gimbal. <laughs> so Petri's written, this is exactly what she's written, I haven't hard the wigwam in a long time, I haven't seen one in ages either. So I think, I'm not sure. What was the H bit, Petri? Yeah. Haven't said, heard. Oh, See? Why uh, a wigwam? Oh, you, Michelle wasn't there, Petri. <laughs> You've confused Michelle. <laughs> That's why I can't understand she, what she, you're When I was about. showing you the wigwam in the garden, ah. she, was, she was away with the fairies. And so Michelle's reading it like, okay. So you're saying you haven't heard wigwam for long time. Oh, she hadn't heard so someone say I wigwam. Understand. I thought you were talking about plants. I thought, I haven't mentioned wigwam. What plant's that? Should I have said teepee? <laughs> I can't say teepee. It might have me needing to go. So she said, thank you, Steve's right arm. And I meant heard, not hard. Yes, I got you, Petri. Sorry. She, she was confused by the wigwam, <laughs> Petri. I can usually work it Because she was nowhere near me and it. she's going, wigwam? <laughs> Where have we gone with a wigwam? <laughs> <laughs> Wig wham bam. So yes, somebody had a little wig wham in the garden. A little TP, little uh, canvas tent. Oh, here comes another one. Here comes another one. Just like the other one. Hey, Is it Jim? Out, Is it Jim? Let's have a look. Not Jim. Not Jim. He slowed a little bit. Mind you, we made him. Oh, what can you see ahead, Michelle? Yes, I told you, we got over this hill. Maybe I see the is, sea. Maybe Go this on. is Alice. No, I don't think Alice can. Don't start doing Alice with me. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> don't start doing Alice. Okay. You know why. Everybody else knows why. Well, that's the okay. Okay. So, here we are. Oh, yes. And I'm wondering if we go down this little laneway, whether we can get right onto that. Look at the water glistening in the back. There, it's just like a thousand little diamonds glistening on the sea, look. How has the sound been on this, on this live stream? Because there's no lav mic unfortunately and um like now the wind is blowing a little bit isn't it so it'll be interesting to see if it gets too windy on the coast and you cannot hear me i will um i will sign off but i just wanted to bring you down to the you know it's it's probably mid-spring now what is the date i don't know the date today it's michelle the 27th October. October. So it's yeah, sort of a third, third way into spring or two thirds of a way into spring, depending on my maths. Um, it's been a very wet spring apparently here in Melbourne or in Victoria, according always, to someone who told me. <laughs> and unseasonably wet. It's always unseasonably wet. Scotland was unseasonably wet. It might just be because we arrived. <laughs> Um, audio is clear, clean and clear, says Raiders, Morris says very good sound, Carol Lunch Lady says good sound and Petri says it's excellent. Wow, that's unusual. I'm going to tell you something, come in the shade here, let me get out the sun for a minute. I've succumbed to going over to an iPhone because you'll, a lot of you know that my Note 9 was giving us all sorts of hell and high water in Mexico after the long uh, John O'Groats to Land's end. So every three or four years, usually four, if I can help it, I'll, I'll upgrade my phone. And uh, it's a year earlier than I'd like to. I would have left, liked to leave it four years, but that thing had just completely stopped working. So I, I made a, a sort of promise to myself, I wouldn't go Samsung again for a while because they sort of annoyed me. This phone's been playing up for long and I'm trying iPhone, so forgive me. And that's uh, wash your mouth out with soap, Stephen. iPhone, you said it. Never been a big Apple fan. Oh, just for a yellow moke. Ooh, oh, and a trike. Nice trike. Did you see that one? You beat in the right way. It's a cool colour. You know you're at the coast <laughs> when you start seeing mokes, mini mokes driving around. Here we are. Look at this. Oh, 
we're a bit high, are we going to be able to get down? Yeah, we should be able to. We'll find a little pathway down. Pathway down. It's usually never too far away from a little pathway down. There's cars parked, so that's promising. Hey, there it goes. Unfortunately, everybody's out. The whole world is, is celebrating being let out of their homes, as are we. I think um, this way, down. Let me turn so you can see what, what we're seeing. So there's the coast, gorgeous, glittering coastal waters. Now we've just. He's saying apple and then he's giving you a little emoji sheet. Meh. <laughs> and Petri giggles. Okay, it's all black though, so I have a love hate with iPhone, so I am This is the first iPhone I've ever laid my hands on, other than other people's. Raider said the signal is intermittent. Okay. Well, let's see how we go down to the waterfront. Civilization, so it may be better. Let's just turn the camera around so I can get this gentleman off that side. Oh, Little cycle path along here. Oh, I hate walking along roads. So let's get off this road somehow. Take you down to the beach. Whoa, take you down to the beach. Is that a pathway down or is that, uh, oh yeah. yeah, here we are. Get away from that traffic noise. Hopefully you're going to get... Shell reckon we should have gone back up to the road, but I thought... Oh, yeah. I thought we'd push on because, you know, what I want to see is down here. So if we do disconnect, stay, stay there because it will reconnect. We've probably lost everybody, which <laughs> is fine. But... Um, this... So don't leave us just yet. Don't leave us just yet. How many of you hung on? Just seven, 11, 11's back in. Look, if, if it disconnects, please hang on because I was gonna go back up to the road to get you a good connection again, but I want to get down to the beach. So stay stay there. Usually if the stream actually ends, it says stream ended. Yeah. So you know, if it just says buffering or, you know, having... We will get disconnected because we are right in the bush now. Um, I'm hoping though as we get down here, away from the, uh, the edge of this bank. This way, we could have come down probably. So as we get away from the edge of the bank that comes down from the road, the signal should come back. That's what I was hoping for. So we'll see you in oh, Am I back on? No.
Are we on? Uh, I'm not even sure. Are we connected again? <laughs> Looks like it might have reconnected. So did we reconnect? I've come right out to the corner. Michelle's, Michelle's fighting her way down the beach towards me. And um, yeah, I think we've got a connection, so. <sighs> hello, hello. I've got a connection here on the corner, Michelle. Oh, well, I, it's, I saw that big, um, I saw that big bank over there. And I thought maybe if I came across where this is uh, more shallow. Ready. It is. Put the shoes off. Full of sand. My <laughs> shoes are full of sand. I march, I route march down here so I could get a connection for you all. Look, we've got the little beach um, houses along the front there. We came down through this, this bush area up here. And we came down those that little staircase. That's where we lost the connection. And now I'm stood next to some, some kids playing in the sand. Are they building sand castles or? Uh, digging holes, okay. digging holes. So pretty, lovely beach. It is beautiful today. <laughs> I was running. <laughs> Those dogs came running over to me. This one, this little white one, he's like a big Pomeranian. What sort of dog is that? Houses. Oh, yeah, they're so cool. I think I'll just turn the camera around. I think we're going to stop out here because you now I want to give people a bit of privacy here on the beach. Yeah, we've got to be careful where we film. <laughs> um, and when we walk back up to the to the road in a moment, we'll lose it again. we're going to lose the connection. So there you are. That's what freedom feels like. Back in Australia, things are starting to feel back to normal. Here comes that little doggy. <laughs> Hello, fella. <laughs> Coming round. Where is it? <laughs> He's a big Pomeranian, yeah. if he is one. A little bit smaller, but who knows? So I think it might have been worthwhile sticking around to the end. Yes. We did actually get to where we wanted to get to. If you'd seen me a few seconds ago, I was sort of jumping along this waterfront, holding the, the camera up in the air, trying to get a... He a, left a me. I was, I was just writing something. I looked up and he was gone. So I took my shoes off and ran to catch him up. So we hope you are all well, having a lovely day. Michelle and I are going to sign off, I think. Um, we've got a video going. I think the chocolate... Um, town in Italy will be coming up on Friday yeah. and uh, we'll do another live stream maybe somewhere we might be a little bit better prepped um, but we wanted to test it today and just take you out test this gimbal uh, test the phone see how things are so Petri said I can't spell it but it looks like a spitzer mixed dog it could well be it probably is it's pretty anyway whatever it is <laughs> spritzer yeah. so lots of dogs down here Love to you all. Take care, everybody. Michelle and I will see you in see the next you. video. Yes. Where's the off button on I this don't thing? Know. Check out that chocolate town that's coming up soon. <laughs> you found it? I have, but I, I can't see. Have you got your readers on? I have. It says, Are you sure you want to stop streaming? <laughs>